How you guys doing? This is Johnny back here at MyMixEngineer.com and today, well, today I was working on a song by an artist named Nook the Crook. Uh, the name of the song is entitled Now N-Word. Um, trying to keep it G-rated for you guys. You get it. So, I get the question a lot about balancing. How do I know I got the right amount of bass and is my mix balance-wise? I know I preach mixing is an art, but behind that art is a science. And the science is this wonderful spectrum, the analyzer. So with this, how I have it set, I go to the analyzer. I make, if you have it to tilt on zero, you'll see that it slopes from, from the base to the high end. So check this out. Alright, so as you can see, it got, it got a little slope, and as you can see, right here around the, the upper mid-range, I would say, that it's it got a nice little hump there. So, the science would be, okay, fix that, it's a little mid-rangey. Uh, then I have a little peak right here, and it's got a big dip around the 5K range, between 3 to 5K range, which is okay, because it's the harshness. Uh, but... Anyway, I understand the science behind this is that the why bass, if you look at major records, I can play one. Let me see. The spinning wheel of death. Alright. So yes, I am a big Dre friend. Dr. Dre fan and his last uh, the Compton album Compton album is like spectacular I love Dre but I'm not gonna play it you're not gonna hear it I'm just gonna show you guys what the spectrum looks like so this plug in right here that you're looking at is called the A Magic AB by Simple Magic uh, 50 bucks and it helps reference tracks help so that you can reference tracks so Check this out. I'm gonna pull this up. Be aware that you're not gonna hear anything. Okay, as you can see. When I list, look, when I play his, it got a nice lit even. It got a little bump here, but there's no major. That's one little thing just peeking out right there. But it's a nice slope, nice lit roller coaster. That's what I call it, nice lit roller coaster going on here. Um, and then if I change the settings to tilt to 3 dB, when I do here, what ends up happening is, as you can see, it levels everything off. Everything look little level. It brings the spectrum so that everything's look level. All right. So my goal is to make my mix scientifically look like this. All right. So let's play mines. Okay, so I can see within my mix, I have a lot going on in the mid range. And most likely, I can guarantee you, it most likely is that piano. So check this out without the piano, without the instruments. Because the components of the music is basically a brass section, a piano, just like the rhythm, and then it's a synth pad that's kind of like. Leveling things out, just 
floating in the background. So let's mute the music. All right, so I know you're probably thinking like, okay, you got a lot of top end. Yes, I want it to be level. That's, so I'm missing a, a lot between 500 to 5K, 8K-ish. I'm missing a lot, and that's what fills it up with the music. See, when I push the music in. Okay, what I'm going to do now is try to bring just volume wise instead of reaching for EQ I'm gonna go volume and see if I can kind of bring down bring down that peak around them um, it looked like it is like 700 So even with that, I still can see that a volume is not going to do it. Looking at this, it seems like this is what's poking out. So, what I would do uh, okay, so as you can see, there it is here. I'm just gonna kind of bring it down just a little All right, let's see what happens within the mix. To me, that's a little better. I still hear that synth playing in the background is not as prominent, and it looks a little better, better on the spectrum over here. So, just try this method out, you guys. Um, try to balance out your mix at the end, or some people do it. You know, so keep an eye on it. If you have two monitors, you can put it on one monitor and leave it up, um, and kind of keep an eye on it. What you're doing. But it definitely it definitely works you guys it definitely smooths out the mix and it just sounds better this is something that i have been working on for the last i would say year and a half after a good friend of mine's put me onto this and yeah you guys i'm gonna say it again mixing is an art but there's a science behind the art and the science can't be broken because it's an art. 
So, all right, you guys, remember, mixing is an art. Be you. Stay true. I'm out. Well, I ain't that. I'm still here, but you know. Oops. Hey. <laughs>